It's Monday afternoon, you're probably wondering how come I have not posted my homily yet from this week, and well, the reason why is I did not preach any Sunday Masses except for the Assisted Living Mass because Father Gregory Abbott, as Father Zarian calls him, the senior parochial vicar, whatever that means, I guess I'm top liver, he preached all the Masses for Natural Family Planning. I'll make sure to post some of those resources online for you. However, I did preach a little bit at the Assisted Living. It was kind of the toned down version of what I would preach. As you know from this past Sunday, we had to talk of what? The Pearl of Great Price. Now this got me to thinking, what would I trade for? What do you want to trade for in your life that you always want? Now as a kid, you always trade what? You trade baseball cards, always looking for the best baseball card. Even when I was a kid, there's something called pogs. People used to trade for pogs. People trade stamps. Even now in our own life, we trade for things thinking, okay, can I get the best deal? As you know today, the National Football League has what? They've opened up agreements so that they can what? It's starting to happen. Football's going to happen this year. Praise God, right? We'll hope you still come to Mass and watch us as well. But what does this mean? The trades are going to start happening. These football teams are always going to want to do what? Trade for the best player possible. For why? Because they want to have the pearl of great price, the athlete of great price. But what's our pearl of great price? What are we always seeking? We're always seeking out something in our life. Some people think that once they finally have the car that they've always dreamed of, or the house they've always dreamed of, that they found this pearl of great price, but we know it does not bring them happiness. Whether what does it bring them? This fleeting happiness, nothing really ever that's really going to give them the true happiness they're looking for. The true happiness we're looking for, of course, is God. This is the pearl of great price. And when we find it, what are we called to do? We are called to give up everything so we may follow God. However, we also know that sometimes we lose this pearl of great price when we sin. Every single time that we sin, what we are saying is, I do not need this. I do not need God. I can figure it out for myself. But luckily, God is a merciful God, a loving God, a God who wants you to be with him at all times. And so all we have to do is come to him and maybe the sacrament of confession, whatever it may be, and say, I'm sorry, God. I truly want you. I have found you. I don't want anything else in this world. But it still takes commitment. We have to sell everything. We have to leave everything behind, my brothers and sisters, so we truly can find the pearl of great price, which is God. And when we do this, we'll be searching for nothing else for the rest of our life. This week, take a look and see if God truly is the center of your life or not. And if you found him or not, if you're still searching, search some more and know that God is with you. He's helping you along the way. And if you have found him, cling on to him. Do not give up anything. Do not trade anything else. You truly have found the pearl of great price. Once again, I'd like to thank not my assistant, Kathleen, but my boss, Kathleen. She is not my assistant. She is my boss. She's telling me what to say right now. Thank you very much, Kathleen, for all your help. Make sure to keep tuned in to these uh, video blogs. Let me know if you like them or not. Post a comment on the YouTube account or just post a comment through print as you want to as well. Once again, thank you very much. God bless.